वेलकम टू द डिफेंस वर्ल्ड इंडिया इंडियाज फर्स्ट इंडिजिनस एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर विक्रांत हैज बीन कमिशन टुडे एंड इट विल बी कॉल्ड विक्रांत नेम्ड ऑन द फर्स्ट एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर ऑफ इंडिया व्हिच वाज डीकमिशन्ड इन 1997 now india has joined the prestigious list of select nations having the capability of designing and manufacturing an aircraft carrier india is well poised to become a blue water navy with at least two carrier battle groups the 260 meters long vikrant has a displacement of 42800 tons and can host around 30 fixed and rotatory wing aircrafts initially mig 29k light combat aircraft Kamov 31 air early warning helicopters MH60 Seahawk multi role helicopters will be accommodated on Vikrant Vikrant is armed to the teeth it can carry 32 medium range surface to air missiles with AK630 rotary cannons which are close in weapon systems Kavach anti missile naval decoy system will be used to distract laser guided missiles from their targets the aircraft carrier can accommodate a crew of up to 1,600 people and has cruising speed of 18 knots with maximum speed of 28 knots. It has a maximum range of 7,500 nautical miles. Vikrant is propelled by four gas turbines from General Electric each of 24,000 kilowatt enough to lit up half of Kochi city. India now has demonstrated capability of manufacturing special military-grade steel called DMR-249A. 23,000 tons of steel was used for Vikrant. Vikrant uses short takeoff but arrested recovery, STOBAR, and is equipped with a ski jump for launching aircrafts. India has a long history of using aircraft carriers. INS Vikramaditya is the aircraft carrier commissioned in 2014. The flagship Kiev class aircraft carrier originally named Baku and later renamed to Admiral Gorshkov by Russia was inducted into Indian Navy in year 2014 after purchasing and retrofitting. Vikramaditya is having the displacement of around 45,000 tons with capacity to hold around 35 fixed and rotatory wing aircraft. Equipped with Barak I and Barak 8 LR. The carrier has huge situation awareness capability with CCSMKII communications, system control and DAPS landing systems. INS Vikrant on which the current carrier has been named was decommissioned in 1997. INS Vikrant was the first aircraft carrier of India bought from the British Navy. India purchased incomplete HMS Hercules and finally commissioned it in 1961. The carrier played a great role in naval blockade of Pakistan in 1971. Was used as a museum the post story commissioning in Mumbai Air in the 90s. INS Virat was a center-class submarine commissioned in 1987. It was retrofitted from the decommissioned HMS Hermes of Royal Navy which India bought in 1987. Virat was finally decommissioned in 2017. She was the oldest aircraft carrier in service in the world. Aircraft carrier Virat played a substantial role in blockading Pakistani ports, primarily the Karachi port as part of 1999's Operation Vijay. INS Vishal is in the consideration stage. Now there is a demand from Navy for third aircraft carrier IAC-2 named Vishal. Different options are being evaluated to go for 60,000 tons aircraft carrier or a 100,000 tons aircraft carrier and technology to be used. Many experts want a full nuclear-fueled aircraft carrier with EMALS though Katobar version is also being considered. Indian Ocean is fast becoming an area of concern for India with increasing Chinese presence. China is fast developing its carrier group. Both Liaoning and Shandong aircraft carriers with around 70,000 tons of displacement have been commissioned while work on third aircraft carrier Fukien in the 100,000 category with electromagnetic catapult has started. Chinese Navy is now the largest navy in the world. 